Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to prepare the SD card for use in your Raspberry Pi uh, using the Macintosh operating system. There's a separate video for Windows um, so take a look at that. Uh, this is for the Mac. Uh, here's where you need to start out. Go to raspberrypi.org slash downloads uh, and you can get to all the places you need to uh, directly from this page. The first thing you're going to need to do is download the Raspberry Pi operating system image file. Uh, and that's directly on this page. Uh, you can see here there's some introductory information about downloads, uh, a few words of wisdom you can read through here. We're going to come back to this uh, paragraph in a minute. Uh, but to start out with, let's go ahead and download the, um, uh, the actual image file. Uh, this is an image file that we're going to write out to the SD card. Uh, it comes in a zip uh, if you click on this here. This is the one you want, Raspbian and Wheezy. Um, there are a few other um, uh, operating systems you can install, uh, so if you want to come back to this uh, later, take a look at what some of these other uh, images do fine. Uh, but the one that you're going to want to, to begin with uh, to get started is this uh, Raspbian and Wheezy. Uh, go ahead and click that link to start the download. Uh, it's going to um, uh, uh, take you to a download page. Um, and get the thing started. You're going to be prompted whether to open it with an archive utility or to save the file. Uh, you want to save the file. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click OK Save. Uh, it's a large file. It's going to take some time to download. Uh, I'm not going to um, uh, make you sit here and, and watch the download. Uh, so we'll pause the recording uh, and um, uh, come back to it. Uh, once that file is downloaded, uh, you need to unzip it. Uh, so to do that, um, open up Finder, uh, find the downloaded file. Um, you can see here um, that uh, I've downloaded it into my downloads folder. Your may, yours may go someplace else. Um, and what you need to do now is unarchive it. Now you can see I've already actually done that on this machine. Uh, but if you right click this, uh, you can open with uh, the archive utility. Um, uh, and that will start the archive process. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that for now since I've already done it. Uh, but this is the file that you're going to need uh, to write to the uh, SD card. And you're going to write that file to the SD card using a special program. There are a few different ways to do this. Let's go back to the um, uh, download page here uh, and take a look at some of these comments here. Uh, and note that um, the Raspberry Pi uh, wiki has a guide for beginners on how to set up your SD card. So I'm going to suggest you visit that. Uh, we're going to open that link in a new tab here. Uh, and this is a wiki that uh, will give you several different ways um, to uh, format your card to get going with a card. Uh, you can read through this. We're going to go down to the um, uh, Mac OS X section here. Uh, and there's a few different ways to do it. The one I'm going to recommend and the one I'm going to demonstrate uh, is using this free simple wizard PyWriter. Uh, and that's a program that's going to uh, do uh, the work for you uh, to write this out. Uh, there are a few other ways to do this. Um, you can read through this section. Um, there's a, a couple of commands you can actually use at the command line without having to download anything. Uh, that can be a little bit tricky um, and, and it could cause a problem if you pick the wrong, uh, pick the wrong options there. So I'm going to recommend this PyWriter as the safest way to go. Uh, we're going to open that uh, up in a new tab as well. Uh, you can go to their uh, page. Uh, what you need to do is download this. Um, after you download it, uh, you need to drag the uh, application over to your applications folder. So when you download this, it'll, it'll um, uh, open up uh, an, uh, a folder uh, with the application in it, and you can just drag and drop that to applications. Alrighty, so we've got the image file. Uh, we've got the PyWriter application. Now what we need to do is fire up PyWriter. So let me close this. Let me go back to um, uh, Finder here. Uh, let's go to Applications. And let's find this, um, uh, find this PyWriter here. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can pull this up. Here it is. Now, uh, before we run this, uh, what you need is you need, of course, the SD card. The SD card, uh, you can read up uh, 
uh, on the Raspberry Pi website about what you need. Should be at least four gigabytes, should be at least class four. Uh, I recommend class uh, six or even class 10. That has to do with uh, how fast that little SD card can transfer information. And you need some kind of a USB um, card reader. Uh, you can get those pretty much anywhere. They're inexpensive. Uh, a lot of them are, are under $10. Uh, and you're going to start out with the card um, uh, inserted in the card reader but not plugged into your computer yet. This uh, uh, program is going to tell you uh, a couple of places where you'll plug it in uh, and unplug it and so on. So let's fire up PyWriter here. Uh, and now we have to select the image to write to the CD and that's the one that we, uh, that's the one that we downloaded just, uh, just a minute ago. So let's go down here. Uh, we'll go to Downloads which is where it uh, downloaded on mine. And it's this uh, Raspi in the image file, the, the .img file. That's the one we extracted from the zip. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and open that. OK, and now the SD card is disconnected. I'm going to press OK on that. Um, and now it's going to say connect the SD card uh, and click OK. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in to the computer. Uh, now it's connected, and I'm going to click OK and it's selecting the device. So we'll give it 10 seconds. Uh, and now it's selecting the device dev R disk 6. Is this correct? Um, be 100% sure here for this action. We'll erase the entire disk. Uh, that's true. Um, the purpose of, of unplugging and then plugging this card in was to be able to detect which is the proper uh, disk to write to, and that's your SD card. So I'm going to go ahead and click Install. Uh, it's writing the SD card. Now, um, this actually may take a long time. Uh, could take anywhere from 10 minutes to uh, up to a half an hour. Uh, I'll give you a report when we conclude. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, stop this program, uh, stop the recording, uh, and we'll come back to it when this is done and pick it up from there. All right, that has taken about 10 minutes. Uh, we're starting up the recording again. Uh, as you can see, it's finished writing the image to the SD card. Uh, we can disconnect the SD card uh, and plug it into the Pi. So I'm going to click OK here. Uh, and it uh, finishes off some uh, um, information for you. Uh, and you can go ahead and quit. Uh, and then simply pull out the, um, pull out the, uh, the USB um, uh, card reader uh, with a card in it. Uh, and you're good to go. So in the next video, I'm going to show you what to do when you install that card. Uh, there's a couple of things you need to set up when you first, um, uh, when you first run it. Uh, and we'll pick that up in the next video. So thanks for watching.